Last week, we started preparing our space for the fall season. This week, we will be starting to beautify the outdoor space and improve the coffee nook for my holiday mugs. Stay tuned till the end to see the transformed spaces. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel for more holiday content this season for the fall season, but we also have winter coming up soon. So more holiday content is underway. So keep on watching and I will see you guys at the end of the video. We are back with another video this week and we are working on this area right here. We're going to fallify it. Is that even a word? I don't know. But we are going to be transforming the space. For the space here, I actually want to make this functional and kind of have like a bar area slash coffee area nook whatever so i'm going to be adding floating shelves i was thinking of adding like some type of wallpaper there but then because of where the that lining right there it doesn't really match up with the line of the wall it will look kind of weird to only have like that one space have wallpaper so i was thinking of probably doing peel and stick tile at the bottom side but i don't know i don't know if i want to do that now or do that later or actually use real tile that we're gonna be using on the other side of the kitchen. Not sure yet, but for today's video, we're gonna be putting up new shelves and we're also going to be making this area more functional and adding more of my fall decor there <laughs> so it doesn't look so messy anymore. Right now, I'm actually heading over to Ikea to pick up a purchase that I made and I'm also going to Home Depot to See if I can find some wood um, for the shelves because I kind of want to make my own shelves and just buy brackets for them. Or I'm going to check my wood stash to see if I have any wood that I can use for these shelves. All right, so I'm in my favorite place right now and I'm trying to def decide if I want to get the eight inch common board, the eight inch wide, or if I want the 10 inch. I think I'm liking the eight inch a little bit better, but um, so I think I'm probably gonna get that and ask if they can cut it in half for me. Probably gonna need two hands for this. Oh. I don't want this piece though. It has a crack in it. So there's a couple of items that still needs to um, be part of this outdoor uh, space and I didn't have a chance to get a couple of items because unfortunately guys I caught COVID um, which meant that I was not able to go to the store and get what I needed and um, so Ryan and I are kind of quarantining right now um, but these clips in the video today uh, will kind of show like me when I was healthy and <laughs> COVID free so a couple of the things for the outdoor I will be purchasing for next week's video and let you guys see like the full transformation of the outdoor space but I wanted you guys to get a glimpse of what we've done so far <laughs>
So in the later parts of the video, you all will be mostly seeing Ryan doing most of the work um, because he did, because your girl could not do anything. And even still right now, I am feeling still very sick. Um, so kudos and shout out to Ryan for completing this project for me. I'm like super appreciative of it and getting a lot of rest um, while I recover. This coffee nook is like long overdue for a makeover. It was really not tying the space together. But when like I gave Ryan the guidance of like what needed to be done, how it needed to look, and he executed it so beautifully. I honestly think he did a much better job than what I could have done. His attention to detail is just astonishing and i really appreciate him for doing this see he's asking me right now like what what needs to go on the wall and what needs to be done and i'm over there on the couch guiding him and letting him know this needs to go here and you need to do that there and eventually you'll kind of see me step stand up to kind of like monitor and be a project manager <laughs> and c help guide him to like where things need to go and be but very appreciative that he was able to help me out through this process because i was not going to be able to get out a video for you guys if i if he didn't like step in and help so i'm so thankful for that I didn't want to just put some shelves up there and call it a day and I wanted to do some type of arch but didn't have the time or energy to do it so I went on Amazon and saw that they had some wall decals that were arches so I bought that and then I also bought some um, shelf brackets that were gold to match the other um, stuff around the kitchen and then I also got this mat that absorbs like liquid and then i also went to ikea and got this gold polished um kitchen storage rail for the mugs that i thought were really cute touches for the decor of this area your eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet no my eyes agree it's almost like when we first met oh I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say Damn. And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body so give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love I can't fake it when I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say. Right now. I know I'm yours, baby. 
I wanted to jump on here and kind of talk about how easy it was to put up these wall decals so I did help out Ryan a little bit with just like making sure everything was straight and also the placement of everything and the wall decals even though they like stuck to the wall it was very easy to just kind of like remove it and like re reconfigure where it needed to go like I definitely will say that these decals are renter friendly as long as you're not putting like any extra adhesive so this is something that I'm doing like temporary for now but if you know if we decided to move and or if you know if we sell the house and the next owners don't like the decals they can just remove them and they're so easy to get like to take off so I definitely strongly recommend you go out there and get these wall decals if that's something that you want to do to revamp your space and it's another alternative um, if you're not really big on painting. made it this far into the video go drop me a like on this video it helps that youtube algorithm so then that way this video could be shared with more people on youtube and i can continue to keep making these videos for you guys and showing you all my design content and also just giving you a glimpse into my life now in previous um clips ryan had finished staining all the wood shelves and, and sanding them down and now this is the part where we actually get to put everything up on the walls and make everything look so beautiful now i didn't get a clip of me putting the decor on the shelves because i wanted to save myself the embarrassment of looking crazy on the internet so i did do all of that off camera but everything really tied together and it all looks so well look at him he is just so meticulous and so like he just ryan is just awesome <laughs> shout out to my husband
I want to thank you all for coming and tuning in today. I know it's a late upload, but I really appreciate all of you guys for just sticking with me and staying in this journey. Now, I will be coming back next week to wrap up the fall decor um, that way so we can have everything done for Halloween. So I just want to thank you all again for tuning in this week. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Again, it helps the YouTube algorithm so my video gets pushed to more people. And I really appreciate you guys. Um, stay healthy, stay well, and stay groovy. And I will see you guys next week for another video. Talk to you soon. Bye.